The 2014 Morgan SP1 If there's one automaker that's more exclusive than Ferrari, that would have to be Morgan Motor Company. Of course, the comparison is somewhat silly given the products that come from these companies, but Morgan is one of those manufacturers that builds less than 1,000 vehicles a year. What's more, certain cars have a waiting list of up to six months. That's because each car is assembled by hand, starting with the wooden frame and ending with the hand-formed, aluminum body. Sure, nothing's cooler than a Ferrari badge nowadays, but Morgan's old-fashioned ways are darn impressive in my book. One less known fact about this British company is that it has a special projects division. This means Morgan can build bespoke, one-off vehicles just like the big boys from Ferrari, Lambo and Jaguar Land Rover. They don't do it very often, but you'd better be prepared to stand in awe when such an automobile comes out of Malvern, England. If you fancy the classy yet modern looks of the Aero Coupe, then Morgan's latest custom vehicle will leave you impressed. Meet the Morgan SP1, essentially the production version of the 2009 Life Car concept. Click past the jump to read more about the Morgan SP1. Exterior When viewed from the front, the SP1 is nothing but a slightly revised Aero Coupe. But things change rather dramatically around back, where the SP1 displays a completely redesigned rear end. Gone is the smooth and rounded section of the Aero Coupe, which is now replaced by a squared-off fascia and a shooting brake-like roof that reminds us of Ferrari's unique 250 GT Bredvon. The muscular rear fenders are still in place, but the tiny taillights have been replaced by four larger units in a C6 Corvette-like arrangement. The side view also provides a different perspective. It's not just the reshaped roof, but also the way the rear end was cut, the reshaped doors and the full rims, which resemble those seen on Bonneville Salt Flats record cars. As with most Morgans, the hand-formed aluminum body sits on a wooden frame. This time however, Morgan used ash wood and African Bubinga red hardwood, as requested by the customer who will be driving this vehicle from now on. The SP1 was then painted in a complex, multi-coat finish for a bright red, orange appearance. Interior The cabin is equally stunning, with acres of wood covering the dashboard, the door panels, and even the floor. The steering wheels is a classy combination of wood and aluminum, resembling that of a speed boat. The dashboard is as simple as it gets, and the center console that runs from under the dashboard toward the back is a boxy, aluminum piece. Most of the door panels are wrapped in leather. The most intriguing part of the cockpit is on the ceiling, where the drive R must activate a series of aircraft-style toggle switches to start the engine. Is this cool or what? On the tech side of things, the SP1 comes with an infotainment system controlled by an iPad fixed to the dashboard by hand-stitched leather straps. Drivetrain the unique SP1 is motivated by the same 3.7-liter, V6 power plant found in the Morgan Roadster. The Ford-sourced mill that generates 280 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque in the Roadster benefits from a custom AQ setup, but no official output figures were released. However, it's safe to assume the SP1 can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds on its way to a top speed of about 140 miles per hour. Prices Morgan hasn't divulged how much they charged for the SP1, but very expensive seems to be right term here. Competition Ferrari F12 trillion rupees All unique custom-built cars come at a price, but we know they're really priceless to their owners. Finding a proper competitor for the SP1 is next to impossible given its classic cues and unknown sticker, so we'll have to go with the latest bespoke creation to come from Ferrari, one of the most renowned manufacturer when it comes to one-off vehicles. We are talking, of course, about the Ferrari F12 TRS, a totally unique supercar crafted by the company's special projects division that is based on an F12 Berlinetta. The familiar F12 got a reshaped nose, a large window in its long hood and, probably the most spectacular feature, a cutaway roof that pays tribute to the legendary 250 Testarossa. The engine of the beast remained unchanged, but we have a feeling the owner isn't complaining one bit about the 730 horsepower produced by the 6.3-liter V12 powerplant. Pricing? 
Only Ferrari and the loaded customer know much the TRS cost. Conclusion Judging by the manufacturing processes through which Morgan builds its bodies and chassis, it's safe to assume that each and every Morgan is actually unique. But the SP1 takes things up a notch, the way only a specifically designed vehicle can. Although it's a vehicle someone will be driving during sunny weekends, the SP1 is in fact a concept car. One that says a lot about Morgan's potential in today's demanding custom-built vehicle market. Love it unique, conceptual design artsy interior screams for attention spectacular power to weight ratio. Leave it obviously very expensive Morgan won't make more than one. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.